Hello everybody and welcome to today's maths lesson. Um, hopefully yesterday you got on okay with your hot task for multiplication and division. So we finished off that last unit, that was our uh, the culmination of about six weeks work where we did all of our learning for the year, all about multiplication and division. And we're moving on today to think about our next unit for maths. And that next unit is money. Now, a fantastic unit, I think, because so much of the maths we do, although it's really, really important and really, really useful for your lives, I think maths, uh, sorry, money is probably the most obviously useful unit for you. Um, clearly, all of you are going to be interacting with money your entire lives. And so being able to be really up to speed with money is a really directly relevant, really immediately useful and obviously useful unit of maths. So hopefully you're all nodding and going, yeah, yeah I'd like to know about money, because I think it is something you are going to be using, interacting with and uh, engaging with your entire life. So really, really important unit of maths. Now, having said all of that, I do think it's one of the strangest times to be teaching money because uh, thanks to the coronavirus, our society has very much moved towards a sort of cashless model at the moment. People are being encouraged not to use coins and notes so much because of the coronavirus. People want to avoid any sort of uh, anything where it's going from one person to another. So people are trying to avoid money at the moment, at least physical money and are trying to instead move towards contactless payments. However, I would say for you guys, the most crucial thing of all to know actually is, and this is what I'm gonna start you off by talking about actually, uh, what the different coins and notes we have in UK money are. And like I say, I reckon in the last year or so, mum and dad have probably had fewer coins and notes in their wallets and purses and things because people have been encouraged not to use it so often. I think that makes it even more important for you to know the different coins and notes we have. And the reason I want to start with this is that this is actually the learning you did in year two. So we're kind of uh, trying to refresh our memories a little bit. I know that in year two with Mrs Saunders, you'd have done lots of work with money. And I'm talking about physical money with coins and notes. And almost certainly she'd have got our plastic coins and notes out and you'd have been playing with some of those and sort of doing some maths with some of those. And hopefully you built up a bit of a familiarity with the different coins and notes that we have in UK currency. So what I'd like you to start by doing is pausing the video and drawing all of the different coins and notes you can remember. So what I mean by that, it doesn't need to be an accurate drawing. I don't need you to get a sort of bronze pen out or anything like that. But can you just show me the different coins and notes that we have. So I'll give you a wrong example first of all. If there was such a thing as a seven pound coin, and spoiler alert, there isn't, you would just draw something like this. It doesn't need to have the right number of sides or anything like this. You just draw something like that. If you thought there was a seven pound coin, there isn't. If you thought there was one, you'd draw it a bit like that. And if you thought there was a seven pound note, you would just draw it a bit like this. So when I say draw, it doesn't need to be an artistic accurate drawing, but can you just, uh, do for me the different coins and notes that we have. So my example here is a bad one. We don't have seven pound coins or notes, but what coins and notes do we have? So I'd like you to take a moment or two now, draw all the ones that you know exist. Pause the video and come back to me when you're done. We'll have a look at all the ones there are. So here are all of the coins and notes that we have in UK currency. And currency is another word for money. We've got a 1p coin and a 2p coin, and they are this kind of bronze colour or copper colour. We've got 5p, 10p, 20p and 50p, and they are the silver coloured coins. We've got £1 and £2. These are a £1 and £2 coin. And then we've got these notes as well. And notes is another word for paper money. Not actually made of paper, but people often call them paper money. We've got a 5, a 10, a 20. Now, it's got 50 here, I have to say. I don't know that I've ever seen one in real life, you know. I don't think I have. Uh, £50 notes are fairly rare, um, not just because of a teacher's salary. It's not just to do with that, but £50 notes are fairly rare. You don't often see these. They do exist, but you don't often see them out and about. Um, it's not to say that having £50 is rare. It's just if someone were to give you £50, it's far more likely to be maybe five, ten pounds or a couple of 20 pounds and a 10, you don't get many 50 pound notes around. People don't tend to use them very often. 
So a couple of questions to start you off with then. These, this is, sorry, these are some of the sorts of things we'll be doing in class today. We have some plastic uh, coins and plastic money and things that we will be sharing out and kind of using physically to sort of do some of these things. If mum or dad happen to have some coins and notes in their wallet, you might be able to ask very nicely and tell them it's for educational purposes. And you might be able to say, mum, dad, can I have a few pound coins and a few 50p pieces? You never know, you might get lucky, they might help you out. But in any case, I think if not, we can draw them. I've put up on the board, oh sorry, on our whiteboard here, uh, I've put up the different coins so you can very easily draw them. And again, it doesn't need to be an accurate drawing. For your 50p, it doesn't need to have all the right si sort of sides or anything. For 50p, you could just draw something like this. You could just draw 50p. Now show me that it's a 50p coin. But can you either draw, or if you're very lucky, you might have some coins only you can make some of these different things. I'll, I've got a few example slides here, but you could just as easily create some of your own. You could get mum or dad to challenge you to make some. You could uh, challenge mum or dad to make some. Play around with some coins today and have a go at some questions similar to the ones I'm about to give you. So can you make one pound with five or more coins? Exactly one pound. Can you make that with five or more coins? Can you look at some different ways to do it? Is there more than one way you can do it? Can you make seven pounds with less, sorry, with five or fewer coins? Can you make seven pounds with less than five coins? That'd be really brilliant. So again, try out a few different ways, see what the different currency we've got here that we can use to make seven pounds or less is. How many different ways can you find to make 13p? Are there lots of different ways? So again, try out a few different ones, write down your ideas, um, pause the video in between each time. Okay, and we're going to look at a few different um, questions here again. And really, the whole aim of today's session is to familiarise ourselves with all of the different coins and notes that we have in UK currency. So I'm giving you a few example questions here, but actually the most important thing you could do would just be to play around. I've got a few games and things at the end as well that I can uh, put in the link. But sorry, I can put the link in the description uh, that you can play on later. But really, I would encourage you today, make this your playing with currency day, make it your familiarizing yourself with currency day. There are all sorts of different ways you can do this. I've got some questions on the board here, but any way that you can practice this would be fantastic. It doesn't just mean do these questions and then never think about it again. Try to use today to really familiarize yourself with UK currency and the different coins. So there's one question you could do. Here's another one, how much money is there? So have a look at all of these different uh, rows here, add, a, add it up and see what you've got. Now, when I talk about adding it up, a really good way to do this would be to think about the times table that we're looking at. So for example, oh, the ones are quite easy, you can just count those. But when we're looking at 10p pieces, I would probably do this by counting up in 10. So I'd go 10, 20, pardon me, 30, and so on, and you can count up in tens. For your fives here, use your five times table. You can go five, 10, 15, and so on. There's your two times table. For your 20s, it's a little bit more challenging. Actually, if you know your 10 times table, you're already really good at counting up in 10s. And so I'm sure you can count up in 20s as well. Again, we can mix it up a little bit. Let's count these ones up and then come up with an answer for these. Unpause the video when you're ready. There's a few more then with pence, first of all. I wonder if Dexter's watching. Hello, if you are. Uh, and we'll also look a little bit at the pounds as well. So the last few questions are all about pence. These are the pounds we've got, just in case you can't quite see that easily. We've got ones here and twos here. So those, uh, A is one pound coins. These are two pound coins. And the NRA on here as well. So it's a bit tricky to see. We've got tens, fives, and it's twenties at the bottom. Oh, sorry about that rubbish handwriting. 20 pound notes there. Again, add those up, see what totals you've got. That is a 20, sorry. Moving on. So again, those green ones are five pound notes. The uh, orange looking ones are 10 pound notes and you've got a one pound coin there. Now we looked at bar models, um, I think it was a couple of days ago now, wasn't it, when we did our work on scaling. Bar models are something we use quite a lot in school and we think it's a really good way to sort of represent an accumulation of things here. So here we've got 
one pound coins, here we've got two pound coins, and here we've got 10 pound notes. What is the total of everything we've got there? So your bar at the top is gonna to be the total of everything you can see there. Ah, okay, so hopefully you've had a bit of a chance to do some written work there. I think far more excitingly, I've got a link in the description to a couple of really fantastic money games. And this would be a really fantastic thing to be playing today over the next few days to really familiarise yourself with these coins. I want you to be experts in UK currency. I want you to know all the different coins we've got, all the different notes we've got. And I want you to feel really comfortable doing a little bit of adding and taking away with them. So there's a couple of great games here. I'll leave you to uh, play with these and to uh, have a bit of fun with them. The first one, you are given the price of a toy and it asks you to um, select the coins that will total that amount. And similarly, the NatWest one, this is a really good one from a bank called NatWest. Uh, you can see this little sort of character here, which is like a purse. You've got to put the correct amount of money in the purse. So a really fantastic pair of games. And these would be brilliant ways to practice this skill that we are looking at today and really familiarizing ourselves with our currency. So I hope you have fun with that today. I hope you enjoyed playing those games. and. Isn't it great? You know, mum and dad can say, oh, are you, are you sure you're doing work? That looks like a game. And you can say, yes, Mr. Bass told me this game is educational. And he told me I've got to be playing this loads. So there you go. You can tell mum and dad, I've just got to be playing games on the iPad today. It's what Mr. Bass said. Hope you have fun with that. Enjoy. And I'll see you back here later on.